Hi and welcome to the Autumn Shop channel. I'm your host Mohamed Azam with another screencast. This screencast will be about the local notifications. Now we are already familiar with the push notifications, which is when uh, you know when the when your app contacts your server and then the APNS server and then it returns back to notifications. Um, there are some scenarios in which you don't have the internet connection and you still want to receive those notifications. Uh, and or schedule the notifications just by uh, in using your app or inside the app just for like task maintenance. Let's say if you have a task due today for a to-do list, you want to schedule a notification that hey, I need I I have a task today, so remind me. So for those purposes, you can use local notifications, and local notifications are pretty easy to set up. Uh, if I run the app right now, you'll see that. We just have a button and if I click the button basically nothing happens and that is where we are going to implement our code for the local notifications. So yeah, we'll start with UI local notification, notification, UI local notification, um, just a location in it, okay? And then what we can do is we have to give it a fire date. When will the notification be fired? So for the uh, for these demo purposes, we're just going to say that the 10 seconds from now, the notification will get fired. Notification dot alert body, which means that what will it display? I'm just going to say, hey, I am a notification. All right, and then of course the time zone which time zone you are in. We are in NS time zone and default time zone. And then of course, finally, we are going to schedule the notification using the UI application, shared application, uh, and then schedule local notification. And that's it. That is all that is needed to uh, set up a notification. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to say start local notification and we're going to wait for, let me actually go, let me see if I can go to the home screen and get that notification if it's 10 seconds not past. Here we go. So we get this notification that, hey, I'm a notification. And uh, you have to see that, I mean, you have to note one thing that we were not inside the app when we got, the, when we received the notification, right? We were on the home screen. We can even lock the screen and we will still get the notification. Now let me show you one interesting thing. So if we are inside our app and, and I've already clicked that, that we uh, start the lot local notification, you will realize that you do not get a notification when you are inside your own app. So if I pull it down, there we go. I mean, there, there is a notification, you but you never saw the alert, right? You never saw that pop up that, hey, I'm a notification. So according to the Apple documentation, once you are actually inside the app and once the app is active, it's not going to show you the local notification or a alert message because you're already inside the app. It's of course going to put it over here in the notification um, window that you receive these notifications. Now, if you do want to control that, that even if you are inside the app, you do want to control that I want to, uh, you know, see the notification, then we have to go to the app delegate and implement a different method. So we're going to implement did receive local notification. And this method will be fired uh, even when you're inside and you're inside your own app and the app is in the foreground, it's running. So I'm just going to say did receive uh, local notification. Okay. So I'm going to start the notification and hopefully after 10 seconds, this method will get fired and it will print something on the console. Now inside this method, we are just doing NS log and we are printing something on the console, as you can see. Right over here, we print did receive no local notification. So that particular method is actually being fired. Um, if you do want to do something, if you do 
want to show some sort of alert or you do want to show some sort of a message visually to the user then you can do that inside this particular event did receive local notification okay um, so what other things we can do there are quite a bit of different things we can do with the notifications um, once the so once the app is not running in the background okay so once the uh, if I run the app and basically I just go over here and it's not even running in the background let's say that it's uh, uh, suspended or something going on right the, the notification is uh, scheduled but it's uh, it's not even running in the background then uh, even then you will receive a notification okay let me see oh I didn't I didn't press C button or something all right and when you do receive a notification and when your app is not running in the background and you receive that notification and when you click on that notification then you will be taking to the did finish launching with options but if your app is running in the background you will be taken to the did receive local I mean did receive local notifications okay so two different things and once you get inside this you can easily retrieve the notification uh, uh, using the key and I think the key is UI application uh, here we go local notification key so when you do that you will get the notification that you're looking for all right let's see some other things now a notification is not only about alert uh, like messages but you can also do like a beep or you can also change the, the badge so if you want to do some sort of a sound then you can also do uh, you, you can say UI default sound name okay I'm not going to do that but you can do that uh, if you want to change uh, the badge number then you can also do that local notification not application badge number whatever 10 okay you can also repeat the notification um, like at a scheduled interval so you have repeat interval and you can say NS our calendar unit okay um, so it's going to you know you, you can mix and match so this is just going to uh, repeat of course hourly because we're doing NS hour what about if you have your own data I mean how can you push your own data because it doesn't seem a way but there is you can say no, no, uh, notification not user info and you can simply pass in your own data so if you have some information let's say first name uh, John and this is simply a, a dictionary as you can see and uh, last name Doe so you can pass that information you can pass that data uh, to the local notification it takes a dictionary object and a dictionary canceling your notification is also very easy UI application is responsible for creating or scheduling but the UI application is also responsible for canceling all the not local notifications if you want to cancel a particular notification then of course there's there are matter for that cancel notification and local notification or right, here we go okay so that's pretty much it as you saw the local notifications are very easy to set up local notification will uh, you know will fire even if you don't have the internet connection or anything it really depends on not 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 on the internet connection or anything or like that um, and you can repeat it you can you can attach a sound to it bash number to it you can even attach a custom data to it as you just you can see user info um, so that's it I hope you like this uh, screencast and stay tuned for more thank you very much